The second reason why people can't create healthy boundaries is a belief uh, that this world is a wonderful place to live, a fantasy of a paradise world. And this world is a wonderful place to live, but I'm talking about the fantasy of a paradise world. And I will explain uh, right now what I mean by that. So there are rude people and there are kind people. There are black and white. There is black and white in life. There is a day and night. Every person has a bad and good qualities. If a person uh, is rude to you, you should not tolerate it just because he was good to, to you yesterday. We want to live in the illusion that bad things happen to others and not to us. We want to believe that another person did not mean to be rude. And we, actually we, ourselves, create excuses for other people when they are rude to us. In reality, we're just afraid to stand up for ourselves. We prefer to live in the illusion of a paradise world. We take our sunglasses, we put them on, and we live in this illusion that the world is an amazing place and bad things is not, are not going to happen to me. The third reason why people can't create healthy boundaries is because we ignore obvious signs of predators. And the fairy tale Blue Beard, chapter 2 of the book Women Who Run with the Wolves, shows that the predator has a blue color beard. And uh, this is a sign, basically a red flag, that something is wrong, something is awkward. This sign is in front of our eyes and we see it every day, but we ignore it. We want to acquire the person. We tell ourselves and others that the person is good, especially if this person is our partner, if this person is our mother, father or our best friend. And we want and we will find hundreds of reasons why this person is nice or why this person did not mean bad things that he did and what we should do instead instead we should protect ourselves and we should create a healthy boundaries we need to know how to say no and how to walk away if uh, if the person cannot hear our no